We're going to talk a little bit about how you set up groups inside Cubase. Very, very simple thing to do. If you right click, you have a bunch of adding track options here. You can add FX channel tracks, which we'll get into in another tutorial. You can add folder tracks. You can also add group channel tracks. When you add group channel tracks to your track, so we're going to add a group channel track here. It's just a dummy track. It automatically adds it to the group channel group, which actually puts it in its own folder and sort of nests it all up. Since we don't need this, we're going to remove this selected track. And you notice that we've used color coding again. Um, the FX uh, group is set to this orange color. This pink group here represents the melodics. This purple group represents bass and all of this green stuff up here represents drums. If we have a quick look at the uh, mixer setup here, you can see that at quickly at a glance, in terms of visibility, your group tracks are all labeled blue. If you solo them, this will actually allow you to make mix decisions on the various tracks that are associated to it. So if I hit solo, you'll notice that uh, these drum tracks are all soloed so I can actually set my levels correctly in here. If I solo the bass you'll notice there's only two bass tracks and then once I solo them they're showing up here. So if we close this up for a second we can listen to something that's been done here. We can listen to the automated panning. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to select show all used automation and then you can see some that a panning curves have been drawn in for like three different tracks. So if we listen to the growl buddy, you probably heard it do a hard left or hard right pan. And if you listen to something's up here, you know, something's on top, you listen to that as well, you can see that there's a continuous pan going on. We tend to use dynamic pan a lot when it comes to tracks with a lot of rhythm and not rely on a static pan position, such as what you would use with a band to preserve focus because in a lot of dynamic dance tracks. Uh, panning is used a lot to create uh, interest for a user, especially when they're listening to tracks in headphones and or they're listening to tracks in their car and they can hear things swirling around and it creates a level of excitement. So I encourage you to use group tracks a lot. In this particular example, we don't have any inserts on them. We have the inserts all running on the individual tracks on their own. And we'll get into how using inserts is effective in other tutorials. Once again, hope you enjoy these. And as always, happy looping.